Namaste students. In this block 15, we have learnt about the rotation movement of the earth, the revolution movement of the earth and today we will learn about the seasons. How do the seasons occur? Right? On the screen you can see the earth in various position revolving around the sun. Right? Let's move on and learn more. We have already learned that earth revolves around the sun in one year. Okay, for one revolution the earth takes 365 days. Today we will learn how the tilt and revolution of earth cause the changing seasons. Right? So there is an activity where you have to take four globes in one lamp. Labels with India and Australia written on them. Then place the globes in different position around the lamp. Okay. That is the activity. And here are the keywords. Revolution. Movement of plants. Excuse me. Movement of planets around the sun along a fixed path called orbit. What is revolution? Revolution is the movement of planets around the sun along a fixed path called orbit. Look at the lamp kept in the center. It represents the sun. The four lobes are at the, kept at the position A, B, C, D around the sun. The globes represent earth. The four globes show different position of the earth during its revolution around the sun. Look at the labels on the globes to show the positions of India and Australia. At which position is India closest to the sun and which position is Australia closest to the sun. Now let us watch this video. Of the earth and its tilted axis. The revolution of the earth and its tilted axis causes the seasons. When the North Pole is tilted towards the Sun, India experiences summer and Australia experiences winter. When the South Pole is tilted towards the Sun, India experiences winter and Australia experiences summer. Okay. At which positions of Earth will India and Australia be very hot, least hot, and neither too hot nor too cold? Okay. So... At position A, India will be very hot as it receives the maximum amount of sunlight. Hence, it will be summer in India and position A and winter in Australia. At position C, India will be least hot as it receives the least amount of sunlight. Hence, it will be winter in India. At positions B and D, it will be neither too hot nor too cold in India and Australia. So, we can copy this table here in the classwork and learn it. How do the tilt and revolution of earth cause the changing of seasons? As earth revolves around the sun, different parts of earth receive different amounts of sunlight. When the North Pole is tilted towards the sun, it is summer in the northern part and winter in the southern part of the earth. When the South Pole is tilted towards the sun, it is summer in the southern part and winter in the northern part of earth. When neither pole is tilted towards the sun, it is spring and autumn in the northern and southern parts of earth respectively. If it is summer in the northern part of the earth, 
what are the lengths of day and night in the northern pole when it is summer in the northern part of earth the north pole is tilted towards the sun during that time the sun is visible for 24 hours in the north pole hence there will be 24 hours of day time in the north pole and no night time now let us open the worksheet put today's date seasons tick the correct answer so look at the picture and decide which season it is here you can see okay the girl is playing in the snow so you can tick the box winter here a girl is sitting in the front of the fan in order to keep herself cool and she is also eating watermelon so this is summer put a tick to summer now second question look at the diagram showing the revolution of earth and complete the table okay this is the diagram you can see the position of the earth okay four different positions are given you have to remember where the north pole and south pole is right and which position is it now the question is after observing the table properly complete this table country part of the earth position season in the country in the given position winter summer spring or autumn okay australia part of the earth which part is at the which part of the earth southern part position c so season which season it will have, have okay it will have winter canada northern part and at which position at a so it will have summer so in the blanks on the top you write winter and um, the box bottom okay summer question 3 look at the diagram in question 2 and write the position in which south pole will have 24 hours night time okay so in which position will the earth have 24 hours of night time okay in which the south pole okay so in which position you should write south pole will have 24 hours of night time so that is position b will have 24 hours night time because it is away from the sun's light right now open your content book put today's date Fill in the blanks with the words from the brackets. A. The revolution of the earth causes dash. Revolution causes seasons. Put a tick to seasons and write. B. When the north pole is tilted towards the sun, it is dash season in the southern part of the earth. Okay, summer season. C. In the summer season, the nights are dash, shorter. 2. Would there be a different seasons on the earth if it is was not tilted on its axis give reasons no if it was if the earth was not tilted on its axis then there would not be uh, the seasons third question draw a labeled diagram that shows how the revolution of earth causes different seasons so this is the picture which is in your textbook you can copy in the classwork i already asked you to copy this before the level lesson itself so do read the lesson twice and underline important statements. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.